Today I'm talking about small space sofas and what to look for when you're out shopping. Whenever I'm dealing with small living spaces and specifically looking for seating for a small living room, there are a few handy little tips that I look for that will make the space look and feel more open and not so cramped without having to sacrifice the overall size of the sofa. Avoid the urge to buy small furniture. Instead, focus on its visual weight. Here are three different design tips for sofas when you're looking for a small space sofa. The size of your couch is key, obviously. You need to measure and make sure it will fit in the room and make sure you can get it into the room. But outside of the actual sofa size, I look for sofas that have legs or feet like this. Sofas with legs sit higher up off of the floor, which makes them look more airy. They tend to be lighter in structure and visually they look less heavy than a traditional sofa that sits closer to the floor. A sofa with legs makes the room it sits in feel more open and airy. The second sofa design tip I look for when I'm shopping for a small space sofa is the height and thickness of the arms. Sofas with arms that are at the same level as the sofa back are basically a box shape. They tend to block your eye from traveling in and around the sofa to the corresponding pieces of furniture. When you have a sofa that has a lower arm, you can see past the arm more easily and all of a sudden the sofa doesn't feel so clunky and boxy and the room visually opens up. Also, a narrow arm will make the sofa look more lightweight. This is true for chairs as well. Look for armchairs with low and narrow arms. It just means more space in between for seating, which makes the chair much more comfortable and again, not so hefty looking. Maximize your seating in a small space by using modular seating. Instead of having two separate seating areas, combine them. A sectional sofa will always give you extra seating you just won't get with one sofa. The key to modular furniture in a small space is again, its visual weight. All the same tips apply. Look for sectionals that sit on legs so they can come up off the floor visually, as well as maximizing arm thicknesses so that you can see past the arm opening up the space around the sofa. And finally, in addition to a full-size sofa with legs and narrow arms, it's great to have a secondary seating area like a love seat or an armchair. One of my favorite pieces of furniture to incorporate into a small living room where space is a challenge is something called a chair and a half. A chair and a half is smaller than a two-seater sofa and larger than a single armchair. You didn't need me to tell you that. It's a great solution when space is limited, but you have a little more wiggle room for a little extra wiggle in your seat. So here's your takeaway. When the size of your living room is tight, don't look for extra small furniture. Look for furniture with less visual weight. Sofas that sit up off the floor with legs look more open and lightweight. Narrow and low arms offer views past the arms and opens up the space around the sofa. Squeeze in a little extra seating with a sectional or something called a chair and a half. Avoid purchasing small furniture and instead focus on its visual weight for an overall comfortable look and feel in your small space. Thanks for watching this little design tip. We'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And leave a comment below. Let me know what other small space tips you'd like me to discuss. I love reading all of your questions. And while you're down there, hit that like button if you found this video helpful. See you soon.